Hello. Today I will be discussing about the ISLM framework considering the effects of increase in money supply. What does the mon increase in money supply affect the ISLM framework? Okay. This is the matter of concern today. Okay. Look, this is the diagrammatic representations of the increase in money supply on the ISLM framework. And it is known to you that along the vertical axis, we measure the interest rate. And along the horizontal axis, we measure the real income. Okay. Now, now this is the I curve, initial I curve, and this is the LM curve. This is the initial LM curve. Okay. So I curve and LM curve. And this is the equilibrium point where the money markets as well as the goods market are in equilibrium. And it is known to you that, that the LM curves are nothing but the combinations of the real income and the interest rate. It is the locus of all the combinations of real income and interest rate. And I ask that makes, that makes, that makes the money market in equilibrium. And ice curve is nothing but the combinations of all those combination, all those, it, it is nothing but the locus of all those combinations of real income and interest that right? that makes the goods market in equilibrium. Okay, this is the ice curve and this is the LM curve. So this is the equilibrium point where the money market as well as the goods market are in equilibrium. So the equilibrium rate of interest is I0 and equilibrium income is Y0. Now, if the money supply increases, money supply is exogenously determined and it is, if it is increased, so LM curve, LM curve will shift rightward, okay? You must remember, if there is an increase in the money supply, LM curve will shift to right, will shift to the right. And as a result, the new equilibrium will be here. As a result, new equilibrium will be here. The LM curve shift to the right, right along the ice curve, and the new equilibrium will be this. And this new equilibrium, where the goods market as well as the money markets are in equilibrium, we have less rate of interest. We have less rate of interest and higher real income. Higher real income. Okay higher real income and as there is an increase in money supply to maintain the equilibrium in the money market to maintain the equilibrium in the money market interest should interest rate should be low interest rate, rate should be low that is i1 i0 i0 is greater than i1 okay at this low rate of interest investment investment will be high investment will be high so in the goods market the output will be high and that for that reason the income is high and this change in real income is because of the increase in money supply through the increase in investment okay this is the this is the fundamental idea behind the sh shifting of LM curve. And what does uh, be, what does the increase in money supply affect the ISLM framework? Uh, ISLM framework that is represented in this in this in this diagrammatic representation. Okay. Hope you understood this point and enjoyed this lecture. Thank you. Thank you for watching this lecture.